Hello and welcome to Chicken Tuesday. It's been a bit of a soggy one today and um, much as the girls love coming out of their, their run into the garden, sometimes weather just puts a damper on things. Okay, let's get the girls. I think it's raining. A little bit, it is. We'll pop that out briefly. Okay. Hey girls. It's amazing how dark it is in the mornings now. It's, um, what time is it? It's about quarter to eight. And the girls haven't even come out the coop yet, even although the door's open. Hi, we'll get you out. Yeah, come on then. Yay, out for a little trundle before work. Come on. Oh, <laughs> it's a bit rainy, Mum. It's a bit rainy, Mum. Are you coming out? Come on. Come on, Matilda, are you staying in? Matilda staying in the nest box. Let's see what she's doing. You coming? Hi. Hello there. And I noticed there's some more feathers there from Matilda. So she hadn't stopped molting. There's still more coming out. Hiya, are you just staying in? It's dark in here. Come on. <coughs> what are the others up to? They've gone right by the scratch mix and they are have gone into the house to check if there was any cat food left out, which there wasn't. And Hamble's starting to take a bit of interest around the quailies, who are, I haven't done anything with quite yet this morning. Hello, Hamble. Hi. Oh dear girls, it's a rainy one. It is, it's a rainy one. Now in this tub, it's a scratch mix which you normally just throw in the ground and let them pick about and eat but um, they just get a little I like to have this up on the deck in the morning because I'm working on the deck or around the deck and in the kitchen first thing and it means that the girls are in my sight all of the time um, because they're, they're sort of focused on this and I'm not throwing it on the deck because it just gets everywhere and ends up growing in the cracks of the deck so yeah this is just a ploy to keep them up this side of the garden while I'm working in the morning, just in case anything's still on the prowl. Yeah, let's go and see if Matilda wants out again. There. She's out. Oh dear. Her feathers are starting to pop out. I bet if she gives a shake, these feathers will all pop out. Mm -hmm. They won't stay out for long in this weather. <clears throat> oh, did you see that? <clears throat> oh dear, yes. A shake and some feathers just popped out. So yeah, the next phase of our molting is happening. Isn't it? Yes. So the girls have come back round themselves. Um, I've just tidied up their coop and their run and I've topped up the feed and great... Uh, grit etc and water yeah and it's just dull and rainy this morning so they're not for kicking about the garden which is a shame because I think it's probably going to be the same after work but there's plenty for them to do in here 
as well as the feed. Um, they've got some watermelon hanging. They've got next door, they've got some cabbage and sweet corn hanging. And that's the remains of some broccoli they're still picking at. So there's tons of stuff for them. And they're just piddling about uh, both here and in the other run. There's lots of areas to dust bathe and perch. Uh, and if the weather got really bad, even though it's dry in here, they can go underneath the, the coop to feel nice and secure and safe. So I'm trying a different feed. Uh, this is Garvo. It's a mix of layers, pellets and other good things. Um, and they're loving it. And I was worried that they weren't going to eat the layers, pellets and just eat all the good things. Different uh, bits, bits of cracked corn and millet and a, a whole variety of other grains in there. But whilst they do initially peck the good, the good stuff, um, they do eat the layers pellets as well. Uh, and Matilda, who is a bit fussy when it comes to eating, she is relishing the, the garvel mix. So yeah, I, I'm quite happy with this for the moment and the egg quality is still excellent so yeah no worries there so yeah this is us in the morning um usually we get a bit more of a run in the garden but uh they're not into it because of the weather and i don't blame them okay girls i'll look you up and i'll see you later yeah